This 2003 Oxford White Mustang Mach 1 is one of 814 made. And out of those, this car is an interior upgrade package car, so that makes it one of 724. And then it breaks down even farther that it's a 5-speed. It makes it one out of 586. Now, unfortunately, the car suffered a cracked block, and so the car had to be towed, and the owner started working on it and uh, taking the engine out. And as time went on, the car started to uh, deteriorate. It started to sit a lot, and you know, here's a picture of it with no engine in it and the transmission sitting there on the ground. And uh, the car's interior still looked pretty good. Uh, it actually didn't look too bad, the interior upgrade package vessel is missing it might be in there somewhere but the problem was once the car started sitting it made the car more vulnerable and you would think vulnerable to theft or something like that but the actual problem with the car was while it was sitting somebody actually crashed into it so now you had a car with a bad engine and a car with damage where somebody had crashed into the car. So unfortunately, at this point, the owner decided that it's time to go ahead and just sell it the way it is. And that's where the car ended up is in the sales ads. So hopefully somebody ends up getting this car and fixing it up and not parting it out. It said that it was mostly cosmetic damage and the frame wasn't hit or the unibody frame, I guess is what it should be called. But uh, the car was pretty straight other than that. And, you know, when it looks like this in pieces and the, the interior is kind of out of it and stuff, it doesn't look very attractive. But it does have a lot of potential. There's the roofs all straight and everything. So good looking car other than that. So I think it's a good potential uh, car for somebody to fix up. And it looks like to be a Texas and New Mexico car. So um, hopefully no rust or anything, uh, most likely not. It did have a Terminator Cobra front bumper. I would put that back to the stock Mach 1, just stock GT Mach 1 bumper if it was me. But anyway, here's what the car looks like. It does still have wheels that go with it and everything. But anyway, it's too bad to see that happen to the car. So hopefully this car gets rescued and taken care of. The seller did say that it has everything that it needs, just needs a new engine. So uh, wire harnesses, everything should be there. Uh, but anyway, I even considered buying this car, but I was in the middle of my Zinc Yellow Mustang GT project, so I just really couldn't do it at the time. But we'll see what happens. And if you own this car or know anything about it, leave it in the comments and let us know. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more Mustang content.